Hi everyone, it's Jessica and I'm back with another haul. I've got a couple orders from some new shops, so I'm always really excited to try out new stores as well as a couple old favorites. So I'll start with the new stores first and let me just move some of this off to the side. And I'll just start with this one here. So this shop is called Miss Adeline or Miss Adeline. I'm not entirely sure how she pronounces it. And I probably should have taken it out of the wrapping first because that probably made a little bit of noise. But um, she is another shop that does hand-drawn stickers. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see them a little bit better. But first things first, we have her cute little freebie on top. And again, she does hand draw all of these herself. So I think just her girls are just very elegant looking and I really like that. The next sheet I picked up is the birthday sheet. So she's just got a couple girls in some dresses and these little boxes that kind of look like Tiffany's boxes. So I thought that would be really cute. I also picked up her hair styling one. So just for various hair appointments, I mostly just get my hair cut. I don't really ever go out to get my hair done, but I thought this one might be good for when I get some highlights put in and I don't know, maybe just for a night out, I can use some of these other ones. And then the last sheets that I picked up were her shop till you, you drop sheets. And I did get these in two different sizes just to have the variety. Um, I got her, I believe this is her medium size and then her small size. I passed on the large because I thought they might be a little bit too big, but I really like these and I like that she sometimes mirrors them. So it looks like you have different stickers. So I thought that was a nice touch. So overall, I'm pretty happy with these. I'm excited to start using them. Um, I really like that her girls just look so elegant and it was a little bit creepy at first because they don't actually have faces on them, but I don't know, it's fine. I think it actually goes with the look. So then the next shop I ordered from is Rose Colored Days and she does include a cute little note with your order, which is always a nice touch. Um, so this shop I ordered from for her 4th of July sale and she was having a really really good deal where it was they were in tiers so depending on how much you bought um, was how much you got a discount if you bought over $60 you got a 60% off discount which I thought was a fantastic deal so here is her business card that she includes as well as her freebie just has a hello summer some flip-flops some sunglasses flags ice cream and a little flamingo so i wound up picking up four kits from her and most of these kits are in matte the last one i'll show you guys is the one that isn't glossy and that's actually the big reason i placed the order and the one i'm most excited about so i'll save that for last but this first one i actually don't remember what her names are but um it's just this pink and gold and black kit, which I just thought was, would be really, really pretty. So those were the full boxes. Here you get checklists, some washi strips here, a lot of page flags, and a couple of different icons. These are... Oh, these are the bottom washi strips. Okay. Um, and then some half boxes or quarter boxes. And then here you get your headers, some label stickers, and your weekend banner. And then here are the heart checklists, the full heart checklists. Um, this was the second kit I picked up, which I thought was really, really pretty. I love the design here. So here are the full boxes. And all of her kits do seem to be formatted the same with the exception of the very last one. So again, you get some washi strips, some heart checklists, some page flags, as well as some little icons. Get your bottom washi and some half boxes, some label stickers and um, the headers and then your ombre heart checklist um this other one again i really just love the design it's very like kind of starry night sort of feel so those are the full boxes your washi strips heart checklist flags um, the bottom washi and the half boxes the headers and the labels and your weekend banner and then the ombre heart checklist and then this was the big reason I placed the order in the first place. So this is her blackout Halloween kit. And I realize it's really early to be placing an order for a Halloween kit, but I was just so excited when I saw this one. I generally don't like the holiday themed kits. I feel like they just wind up looking very cliche. Um, but I thought this was a very different interpretation of it. 
and I also just didn't like how I feel like a lot of people try to use black and orange or black and purple or purple and green you know you're very typical Halloween colors and this is not like that at all so I was very excited and I knew that I would want to use this so here you get um, some full boxes and I'll just flip through them first and then I'll kind of show you how they're supposed to be laid out sort of but here you get some checklists as well as another little full box um, your bottom washi, some uh, functional items, so with your little meal stickers, your icons, and then flags. Here you have your headers as well as your date covers and the weekend banner. And then a couple of these little half boxes as well as your sidebar stickers. So let me zoom out for a little bit. So overall, you get five sheets, and they are supposed to be one of those ones where you can kind of build a landscape so obviously these four kind of go together probably over the weekend area and then the rest of this can be used to kind of build a landscape if you can see what I mean. She does have a picture up where she planned out a layout so you can see what it kind of is supposed to look like when you all put it together but I just thought this was a really good interpretation of Halloween um, that doesn't kind of go with the very cliche like the stuff that people normally would think of so I thought it was a very unique interpretation of a Halloween kit so I'm really looking forward to using that and then my next order here I've got an order from Sessa V and this was packaged really really nicely with some tissue and I kind of like ripped it and I tried to repackage it as best I could but yeah that obviously doesn't look as nice as when Vanessa packaged it in the first place so I made I ordered quite a few things from her because like her stuff itself isn't very expensive it's just that I wanted so much of it that it was going to be a pretty big order so I definitely wanted to wait for a sale and she did have 20% off for um, 4th of July so I took advantage of that and ordered basically just I went ahead and ordered everything that I had been wanting so she does include a invoice with your order and then these are just actually a couple little sampler items that she sent so she has these calling cards in her shop I just wasn't sure that I would really use calling cards with my job or just in my day-to-day -day life so I passed on them but they are very pretty this is her newest collection I'm not sure what she calls it but it has this just really nice palm print on it and then this was one of the things that really attracted me to her is that she has just these nice like marble collections so these are just calling cards um, this one I think might be like her business card of sorts it just has like a little thank you how to get in contact with her and just some of her social media things here is I believe oh, okay this is like one of her week on one page fit for like the pocket size planners so you get an idea of what that is like here is her little habit tracker again it's fit for the pocket size planners and then lastly I think this is a journaling card or something like that so it's lined on the back and then the front just says do what makes your soul shine so the first couple things I ordered from her were for my personal planner I ordered two sets of the marble inserts again I just really like her marble stuff I think it looks very elegant um, and I don't know these are just very very simple and I like that and I've been using sort of this layout with my Michaels recollections inserts and I've been liking it so I felt comfortable you know ordering some that were a little bit more expensive than the Michaels these still weren't that expensive for 30 pages it's eight dollars I believe let me just double check that but I'm pretty sure yep so it was eight dollars for 30 pages which I think she said would be enough for I don't remember but I think I ordered enough for a year's worth so I ordered two of those and these do come lined so I think you can see in the camera but it is very very lightly lined so I thought that would be nice so that is that and then I also ordered a like divider from her because I just thought it would it would just look nice I don't know I was already placing an order so I figured I would just go all out and ordered everything that I wanted so this is what it looks like I ordered it with 
the black and gold. She does have a couple other color combinations. I believe she has a gray, a white, and a red as well. It is all with gold though, I think. Um, but yeah, I think this is very, very nice. It's actually like kind of flexible, which I wasn't expecting. I was kind of expecting something like the Michaels dividers where like they're just very stiff and like kind of a thick plastic, but this almost feels like a really nice leather. So I really like that. Um, I think these are very, very well made. They seem very, very sturdy. So I'm excited to go ahead and start using this in my planner. I think this will look really, really pretty. And then the last things I ordered from her were a bunch of her gold foil stickers. Okay. So I think her stickers are just such nice quality. They're like an actual gold foil. So I ordered a whole bunch of them. The first one here is her foiled, I don't know what they're called exactly. Let me bring out the um, invoice. So these are the checklist flags and they're called like mini metallic planner stickers. And I did just go ahead and order them all in gold. I just thought the gold would look really nice as much as I love rose gold as well. Um, I just thought the gold would look really nice. Sorry, I had to go answer the door, but as I was saying, these are her checklist flags. And what's really nice about these is that the center is actually cut out. So you can use these dots to make a list as well. So you're just getting you know more use out of your stickers. So I really like that. And then these next ones are her narrow flags. So I thought these would look really nice. And mostly I thought these would look really, really nice with the marble inserts. That's a big reason why I got them, but yeah. Um, these are her hexagons. And again, the center is cut out. So you can have that one solid hexagon or you can have the outer ring. Here are just some little hearts. And then here's her coffee sampler sheet or coffee and tea. You just get some to-go cups as well as some of the little tea cups as well. And then these are called just her arrows. So you get a couple different sizes of her arrow stickers. And hopefully the camera's picking it up, but these are just absolutely gorgeous. And then these are called her V arrows. So there are different variations, slightly different arrow stickers. But yeah, they're just so gorgeous in person. And then here is kind of her sampler. She calls it drinks and date night. So you have just a sampler of some of her different um, icons, I guess. Here's some nail polishes, some little heels. I thought that would be really cute. And then I also picked up some date dots. Um, let me see what she calls these. Round dates and countdowns is what she calls them. But they are made to kind of fit into this little circle, circular area here on her inserts. So I got three sheets of these um, because sometimes I do use date dots when I use date covers in my happy planner as well. So I just picked up a couple sheets of these. I figured I could always use date dots. So that is actually everything I picked up from Sessa V. Um, that was quite a large order, but I think it's absolutely worth it. Her stuff is amazing. And then next up we have Sweet Kawaii Design. So this is actually, I don't know, I just always have a soft shop for Sweet Kawaii Design because this is actually the first Etsy shop I ordered from when I first got into planning. So I still have a bunch of those stickers from that first order too that I haven't used up yet. So I really need to get using those stickers up, but I really wanted to try out some of her um, new stickers that she's come out with, especially some of her icons are just super cute. And I wanted to try out her new paper too, because the ones I have were from when she was still using matte paper. So anyway, just getting into the haul, you get her business card here. It has her info. Um, here is her sampler where she tells you what to use to write on her stickers. Um, she does use a, I think she calls it a matte vinyl. So it's different than the Crest Press matte vinyl, but it's still a really, really nice vinyl sticker. The colors show up really nicely and vibrant on here. So here's her sampler, just some summer themed icons here. So then I got a couple different sheets. Um, some of them I got an itty bitty size. So these are the itty bitty ones first. 
And these are her itty bitty monthly utility icons. It's nice because she has them written down right there. So I thought these would be great for marking down when my bills are due in my monthly overview. I also got some dinner plates because if I want to go out to dinner with some friends or something like that, I wanted something cuter to mark them down. And I got the itty bitty whipped coffee drink as well as the itty bitty girl latte. And then for her regular size stickers, so just so you guys know the size difference, um, there is just a little bit of a size difference between the itty bitty sheets and the regular size sheets. It's actually not a huge difference. You do get more stickers with the itty bitties, of course, because they are smaller. But um, I got, I actually got three of her puppy nap stickers <laughs> because I just always feel like this. Like, I don't know, I just always feel like I want to just take a day off where I just binge watch Netflix and I don't want to do anything. So that's what I want to use these for. So I got three of those. Um, I got some of her hot cocoa stickers just because they were super cute. And then I got her deep cleaning stickers. Um, I normally just put my cleaning either in the weekly sidebar or my to-do list, but I figured if I'm doing some deep cleaning, it'll take up more time and I'll probably want a cute icon to help motivate me to do that. So that's what these are for. And then I got her Pamper Me set as well because I love doing face masks. And I actually, I can't really find a good face mask stickers on Etsy. Like, I don't know, I can't, I have a hard time finding ones I like. So I actually really like these designs. So I went ahead and picked up a sheet of these. And the last part of this haul really isn't planner related, but I did want to share these. Let me refocus the camera here. There you go. So I did want to share these because honestly, I just really like them. But these are candles from Henry Bendel. And I used to be someone that always bought candles from Bath and Body Works because they were just cheap and you know, you can find them everywhere and they did smell nice. But I recently decided to try Henry Bendel because these were on sale for $15 each. So they're usually priced at $30, which is kind of expensive for a candle. But $15 I thought was definitely doable. It's very comparable to the Bath & Body Works candles because I feel like in the past probably year or two, I have really only been able to find them at maybe the two for one deal where you get two candles for the price of one and I think they're priced at $22 now. So $11 each versus $15 each is pretty comparable in price. Um, but I have to say, I think I do prefer the Henry Bendel ones because you know even just having them sitting out in the room in the boxes my room still smells like really nice and florally and I just think these burn a little bit better is what I found and I don't think these aren't like soy based or anything like that I think it's just regular wax like the same as what Bath & Body Works uses but for some reason I do find that these tend to burn a little bit better and they last a little bit longer so just a tip out there for anyone who maybe is looking for another type of candle to try other than the Bath & Body Works. These I think are just really nice and oh my gosh, even just opening up that box, it just like, the smell just wafts up. It's such a nice scent. So you have a little cover here. You don't actually have a lid like the Bath & Body Works do, but it's so nice and oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I think the container is a little bit nicer too. It's this nice frosted glass. The Henry Bendel is written very, very small, so it's not very obtrusive if you don't like, you know, the branding and that sort of thing. And I just think these will look so nice once I finish it up. I can use it as a pen case or something like that, and I think it'll look a lot nicer than what the Bath & Body Works glass jars look like. So I just wanted to share that because honestly, I'll probably stick to buying these from now on. I do think they smell a lot stronger. I think they last a lot longer. And again, they're very comparable in price. So that is it for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.